I just stumbled upon this new research paper and project MacGPT from Marcus J. Bueller, and this project is really cool. Let me give you a very short summary of what I have understood from this paper and few of the posts from Lama Index and others that what this project is about. This project is all about the power of generative AI where it connects the dot in my humble opinion. And I have tried to explain it in very simple words. In my view, which is uh, a quite personal one, generative AI or machine learning or deep learning technologies of today are at their best for pattern matching within and across domains because they deal with forms and not really with the contents. Knowledge graphs are the visual rep representation of these connections. They are not really ontologies. Their interpretation remains in the minds of the person who is watching them. They can trigger a lot of insight which, are, which may be relevant or which might not be relevant. So the structures inside are set by identities, which can be natural, social, statutory, mechanical, fictional, but the meanings and functions are defined by the context. Anyway, so this is where I believe this MacGPT really shines. This is one of the finest use cases of fine tuning an LLM and generating a knowledge graph powered by a lot of things. For example, you can even use Llama index with it, and then the end result of this MacGPT is a system capable of understanding a diverse range of scientific disciplines, generating new hypotheses, ideas, and importantly, connect concept between disparate concept of research. Lama Index has uh, published this diagram on LinkedIn where they say that um, this is an example of this project where they have related hyper elasticity in dynamic fracture with protein unfolding and then they have generated this knowledge graph with llama index abstraction from sampled llm conversation so you can see that when all of these dots are connected and at the top when the task is given like generate ideas knowledge then the llm has gone through the corpus of sample data and it has analyzed the corpus and then it has generated that ontological knowledge graph. So this is how it works. And all it is doing is within the context, it is connecting the dots and then generating this knowledge graph, which can itself be used for retrieval augmentation to answer the questions plus develop new hypotheses. So again, if you are interested in this sort of research, I will drop the link in video description for this paper, which you can read through and um, really head off to Marcus for creating this awesome project. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments or share your opinion, please. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.